Thanks for staying up late and welcome to Football Friday Night. The video rack is full of HD highlights for your viewing pleasure. So what's on the show tonight? How about Game of the Week? We always have that. The Power Poll is coming up and then dogs with an O, dogs with an A versus one another. Skylights, Bob Martin back up in the sky doing his business. Our first stop, home of the defending 5A champion Cleveland Storm. Storm hosting the Highland Hornets and Keon Hami under center taking the snap. Giving it to Romel Jordan, who is met by a host of Hornet defenders. Next play, homie again will give it to Romel, who fights off one defender staying on his feet and gets to the goal line, but stopped at the one. Next play, easy walk into the end zone. Storm striking first, seven to nothing. First Hornet possession, and Brian Medina out of the gun, taking a snap. Pitch to Mustafa Mudada. Storm defense doing some work. Next play, Medina rolling right. Counter to Mudada, who is stopped cold by Cleveland's Sterling Napier. Highland punting to last year's 100-meter champion, Romel Jordan, who gives the Highland coverage team a taste of his speed. Gets a block, off to the races. Once he gets to the sideline, he's blasted. <laughs> Highland's Madonna getting him out of bounds. Same possession, different quarter. Hami with the pump, fake screen pass to Steven Steele. Convoy down the field, making his way to the Highland one-yard line. Then Hami from the one, the give to Romel Jordan. Walking in again, touchdown storm. 14 to nothing. Highland trying to get something going. Medina back to pass. Firing. Finds Francisco Trujillo who gets popped. Mackay Dunlap. Fumble. Trujillo manages to regain possession. Then Medina again out of the gun. Sacked by James Smith and company. Smith with three sacks in the first half and the drive stalls. Next Cleveland possession. A counter to Rock Gomez. Dominguez that is. Who dukes Highland defenders but loses the ball and Highland recovers. Rocky didn't like that. Highland has new life. Medina with the keeper, refusing to go down. Drive with stall. Cleveland gets the ball back, and then it's Hami again doing what he's been doing the whole time. Handing off the ball to Ramel Jordan, who uses his speed to get to the outside. He got a blocker, plants the cut foot. Old Turf Monster bring him down. Next play, Hami. Play action, fires deep. Sam, Sean Worthington making the grab and the dive for the end zone. Storm. Raining on Highlands Parade, 49 to 6 is the final score. Let's welcome back your Onyate hosting the West Mesa Mustangs down south. The Mustangs come to play because they did not go away. First quarter, quarterback Chris Heinze hands it off to Mario Pacheco. That'll be an 11-yard touchdown run for the home team. Onyate up 7 to nothing. Still in the first. This could be the biggest play of the night for the wrong reason. Hines backs up from his own end zone and he'll hit Ryan Azaria. I think it's up for another. Oh, uh oh. Gone. 98 yards scoring pass. But look, Knights are called for holding in their own end zone. And it could have been 14 to nothing just like that. But now it's 7 to 2. Momentum. West Mesa's Jerry Archuleta deciding he's going to play a little defense after the, uh, the safety. Gary Tebow has hit with the 37-yard gain. And moments later, it would be more Archuleta doing his work under center, taking it in from the one-yard line. Now West Mesa leads it, 9-7. West Mesa, 23-yard field goal to go up 12-7. But Oyate gets the ball back and puts together a drive with 16 seconds left in the half. Chris Hines hitting Zach Ferlino with a five-yard scoring pass. Oyate up by one at the half, and they won it by one. 28-27, Oyate is the final. This week's Game of the Week has the Scorpions of Farmington hoping they can make the St. Pius Sardins feel the sting at Milne Stadium, at Wilson Stadium. Our Lawrence Gilligan has the answer. Lawrence. Yeah, thanks, Van. The St. Pius Sardins hope to bounce back tonight against Farmington after falling to the undefeated Los Lunas Tigers a week ago. Hey, tough week last week. It's over with. You guys had a great week of practice. It's time to get back on the winning side. You guys ready to come out there with a full of High-level intensity? Yes, sir! What'd you say? Yes, sir! We're going to fire out heat like crazy! Yes, sir! Oh, 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 o
comes into this one winners of two straight games, looking to get a little winning streak going on against the Sartans. First quarter, it's the Scorpion making the Sartans feel the sting. Quarterback Jacob Lucas rolling right. He hits Isil Carrasco for a good chunk of yardage right there. Fourth down, though. Check this out. The defensive line of St. Pius. Yeah, well, they help the Scorpions out right there, bailing them out on fourth and three. That's going to give a first down to the Scorpions. A couple of plays later, it's Lucas handing off the rock to Carrasco, who gets in for the score. The extra point is missed, but the Scorpions lead 6-0. St. Pius has three turnovers in the first half, none more costly than this one. Pius back to punt, and the snap sails over Esteban Medina's head. The ball is loose, and Medina is dragged down inside the 10-yard line. That sets up a Farmington touchdown very nicely. A couple of plays later, it's Lucas with the quarterback keeper as the farm jumps out to a 12-0 lead. Scorpions decide to go for two. It's Lucas to Carrasco, who makes a fantastic grab in the corner. Two-point conversion, good. Farmington leads 14-0. But you can't count out the Sartans. Right before the end of the half, it's Javier Jaramillo rolling out. The ball is tipped by three different players and right into the hands of wideout Daniel Sanchez for the score, cutting the Scorpions' lead to eight points. Second half now, Sky Ranger captures a missed field goal by the Scorpions, but it doesn't matter. Farmington hangs on for a 21-13 win. Um, uh, we're very lucky. The Lord was uh, looking after us on that one with the tip pass, and uh, Daniel Sanchez got that at corner in the end zone. Yeah, what do you get to do to get ahead in the second half? Stop turning the ball over. We've given them a uh, great field by position, but I think we have three turnovers today in the first half, and our defense is playing great, but we can't give them the ball on the 20, on the 1, and on the 30. And, and that's, what, that's why we're losing. All right, well, hey, big shout-out to our intern, Mundo, asking the big questions there to Coach Mendoza at half. He's an intimidating man, but why not? Hey, well, they may have lost the game, but the Sartans have spirit. They're going to pull out the win with a whopping 70% of the votes. In a distant second place, it's Moriarty with just under 25%. All right, with that being said, the Sartans cheerleading crew threw a little gold on the spirit stick. Let's hear it from St. Pius. All right, well, Van, I think we need a little bit more decoration of the spirit stick. I'm not sure. We're a, we're a few weeks into this one. You know, what do you say? St. Pius, though, they're going to fall to 3-3 three and three on the season, while Farmington has won three straight games and are now 5-2. and two. Watch out for those scorpions. That's true. Thanks, Lawrence. We go to the Wool Bowl in southeast New Mexico, where the undefeated Goddard Rockets got a home game. The Rockets hosting the Clovis Wildcats at 2-3. and three. Wildcats looking to win and go 500 on the season. We started up in the third quarter, 21-14 Clovis Rockets with the ball. Cody French doing his work on his way for a first down. Goddard will run the ball all half long, and why not? Because Clovis couldn't stop him. This time, Anthony Ornell is calling his own number, running to the outside. And Anthony getting into the end zone for the score, tied at 21. Goddard doing work at home. The fans enjoying the game a lot. He convinced the referees, yeah, it's a touchdown. Oh, yeah. Here comes the command, the Wildcats in the red zone. Kamal Cass getting the handoff, keeping his feet, driving the ball is out, and the Rockets recover at the one. Eric Ronhouse didn't want to see that. Fumbles is, just can hurt your team at all times. No one is happy about that if you're wearing the purple and white of Clovis. Rockets, Cody French getting the ball on the pitch. Great blocking, finds his way right into the end zone. Goddard wraps this one up. They win it, 51. To 21. Timeout is called. Valley and Manzano have a score to settle against one another. And dogs on dogs at Artesia's Bulldog Bowl. Headbanger in title town. Plus, it's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Bob Martin back in the air after bad weather grounded our skylights last week. First, check out our cheerleaders of the week.